This is six minutes about the top six U.S. presidential candidates in 2024, where they stand on the issues and nothing else. Joe Biden is current president of the United States. He was vice president under Barack Obama for eight years and is running again. He supports taxing the rich and has massively increased the number of IRS agents to ensure he gets the money he wants for his heavy spending. He defends social security and pushes for more public health care support. On crime, Biden is definitely not defunding the police. In one example, he sided with Republicans to maintain longer mandatory minimum sentences for carjackings in D.C. Biden somewhat continues Trump's foreign policy as he advocates bringing manufacturing to America and reducing reliance on China. He also decided to leave Afghanistan as a way to stop American interference in other countries. On guns, Biden expanded background checks and allocated money for more mental health professionals in schools. He's against any ban on abortion and has been a champion of many environmental policies, including setting goals for reducing carbon equivalent emissions, requiring non-emitting government vehicles, and setting a goal for net zero emissions from the U.S. economy by 2050. Ron DeSantis is the current governor of Florida and former member of the U.S. House. He's campaigning on what he's calling the Great American Comeback. He's probably known to you for his don't say gay bill, fight against critical race theory, and general war on wokeness. DeSantis wants to lower government spending, saying the U.S. is careening towards bankruptcy if it doesn't. He supports Social Security, but is not moving to increase it or build public health care. He instead supported medical freedom laws, which blocked mandates for vaccines and mask wearing in Florida. He also signed a bill which limits gender affirming care and bans it for youth. He generally seeks to increase punishment for crime and has made it easier to sentence people to death. On foreign policy, DeSantis has flipped a bit, but has indicated not wanting to get tied up in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. He wants it to be easier to get a gun, harder to get an abortion, and seemingly doesn't believe in climate change. From 1900 to 1960, we had more major hurricanes hit Florida than in the 60 years since then. I've always rejected the politicization uh, of the weather. In Florida, DeSantis made it impossible for cities to restrict certain types of energy sources, which makes it harder for cities to meet clean energy goals. Tim Scott has been a senator from South Carolina since 2013. He's the first African-American person from the South to be elected to the Senate since Reconstruction. If president, Scott seeks to lower spending, cut taxes, and curb regulations, which he believes block the ideal free market, which is a common belief among Republicans. Though, interestingly, Scott supports making it easier to get money from Social Security, even if you have an income at retirement age. He also wants to make it easier for people with Medicare and Medicaid to get the treatment they need with funding from the government. He wants to increase funding for police to get more training and equipment and believes the U.S. should support Ukraine so the war does not extend closer to American allies. He also wants to compete with Chinese development with free market development in the U.S. On abortion, Scott advocates for banning it at 20 weeks, which is more restrictive than Biden, but less limiting than the other main candidates. On climate change, Scott has promoted solar farms and nuclear power plants in Georgia, but also endorsed offshore oil drilling, was a vocal critic of the Paris Climate Accord, and is a major recipient of donations from oil companies. Nikki Haley is polling just above Tim Scott in favorability, though she also has ties to South Carolina and was its governor from 2011 to 2017, the first minority female governor in U.S. history. On the economy, she believes one way to stop overspending is by removing earmarks, which make it so money can only be spent for one specific thing and can't be moved elsewhere once the problem is alleviated. She believes Social Security will go bankrupt in the next decade and says we should raise the minimum age to qualify for government checks. She also wants to cut spending on public health care for young people. She supports Ukraine and is very anti-China, wanting to ban TikTok, and she even boycotted the Olympics being in Beijing. Haley doesn't want to necessarily make it harder to get guns, but she is in support of metal detectors at schools. Just like guns, she doesn't want any sex or gender education in schools and believes it should be up to the parents. She supports blocking abortion after 15 weeks other than cases of rape or incest. On climate change, Haley stands out by admitting it's real, but is against directly limiting emissions as she supported leaving the Paris Climate Accord. Instead, she thinks the best solution is to not stop emitting carbon, but instead trying to suck it out of the air with technology and trees. Mike Pence was Donald Trump's vice president, but is now running against him. You might know him for the fly that landed in his hair or becoming a target of the mob at the Capitol riot. According to campaign material, he is a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that Order. He supports cutting taxes and lowering spending. One way he might consider reducing spending is by raising the retirement age for Social Security. But he didn't do that in the debt ceiling bill. On health care, his main goals seem to be limiting gender-affirming care. Also, when he was Indiana's governor, Pence added a premium, meaning you have to pay a fee to get access, for health care provided through Medicaid. But he also expanded the amount of people who could get access. He doesn't want gender education in schools, and he supports tougher criminal sentencing and wants to expand the U.S. military. He's against removing guns and instead hopes to remedy the problem of mass shootings with tougher penalties 
penalties for mass shooters and a return to institutionalized mental health care. He supports a 15-week abortion ban, but has praised shorter ones. And on climate, Pence wants more oil pipelines and believes environmentally focused investors are misled. Instead, he, like DeSantis, wants to ban clean energy mandates. Donald Trump was the 45th president of the United States. He's the first former US president to be indicted on criminal charges and currently has 71 criminal charges against him, mostly for taking boxes of classified documents to his Florida resort. He supports lowering taxes and bigger paychecks for American workers. He says he will solve the US federal debt problem, but during his presidency, the debt went up $7.8 trillion with the third largest increase of the deficit of any president. Trump is a strong defender of Medicare and Social Security and says he is focused on improving healthcare by allowing more medical freedom and lowering prescription prices. Trump has called climate change a hoax and removed the US from the Paris Climate Accord, and he supports increasing fossil fuel extraction in the US in order to make it energy independent. With this in mind, I encourage you to learn more about the candidates who seem like they meet your interest. And try to figure out who the candidates will really be. Not just in what they say, but also in what they've done. <laughs>